Kayla, please like and subscribe. <laughs> I love talking, waiting for you to just like cut it. No, I'm cool with it. I'm just. I know you are. You. <laughs> It next every time I've got some other videos that I could show. Every time you start to say something, I'm just gonna hit it real fast and just cover you up. That's fine. Now, what do you got uh, for us, Greg? Uh, all right, so Bob Lazar. What? It's not not for today. Oh. Just to let you know. I was like, wait a minute. We already asked you. So, Don't be making stuff up. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's something I've actually talked about a lot, but never focused on it. I like last week, the Mandela effect. I had to go back through my old mm. uh, videos and make sure that it wasn't the title. But so let's just say you get on a plane, the plane takes off, and the plane keeps flying in a straight line, like actual straight line. Will it stay on the Earth or will it go into space? If it truly stayed straight. How long is it flying? Well, if it flies if it, indefinitely, then yes, indefinitely. Yeah, it would fly off into space if you didn't adjust it, or if I don't know how gravitational pull works in orbit, but Magnus. Or when you're three hundred or thirty thousand <laughs> feet in the air, that's what I was trying to get. Are you talking flat Earth? Oh. Or are you just saying that if you're if you don't adjust to go around the Earth, you just yeah, because the the if the jet you'd have to, if it was curved it no, would it have to adjust for that curvature so it would you would have to push in on the throttle to or on this joystick or whatever to keep it going down with the curvature of the earth versus if it just stayed flying straight it's eventually going to go up into space it would have to be a lot of miles for that to happen though because the earth is freaking huge well what it's is not it? like us taking a 50 mile an hour curve on a highway Damn, that's yeah. a really good one. What did they say? 64 miles to leave the Earth's atmosphere? I don't know. I do I know that if is. you shrunk the Earth down to the size that's of the not very ball, much. it would be smoother than the cue, an actual cue ball, even though there's many thousands of feet difference in the highest elevation and the lowest trench. That's mm -hmm. how big it is. That just shows you how gigantic the globe is. But hmm. Well... Are you going to try to convince Blake, us of flat earthing? Flat earthers? Yes. Me and my, my son Blake had a discussion. He brought it up this morning. He's the one that told me that. Who He's won? Like, if the, <laughs> you know, he brought up if the plane kept flying straight, it, it would go into the, into space if it was flat or if it was curved. But it wouldn't. If it was flat. Mm. So I got a video. Yep. Oh, yay. <laughs> All right. I was reading a lot of stuff on the flat earth. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. True, true. That's true? Yeah. Okay, all right, cool. All right. God bless. How long have you been flying for? Uh, like, for no, for 21 years, but maybe like 30 something. I want to know, um, because they say the pilots know a lot. Do you uh -huh. think the Earth is flat or not? <laughs> I know it's flat. You know it's flat? <laughs> Did you notice any curvature while we were up there? Uh, no. No? What did you, you see while we were up there? Uh, the blue sky. Yeah, is it flat or pretty flat? Pretty flat? Yeah. Okay, thank you. Did you notice any curvature while we were up there? Curvature, no. No, there's no uh, curvature? It's just all flat. So I'm going to ask you a question. Yeah. I've been flying, yeah. and I've come to the con conclusion yeah. there's no curvature. I never allow for curvature. There's no way there's curvature. We're random flat, aren't we? Yeah. We are, aren't we? Thank you. What is the pancake? When you look at the one thing that would prove the globe Earth or the one thing that would disprove the flat Earth, what is it? I, I don't know. You tell me. It would be a linear flight path, okay? A linear traverse directly down past South America, down to Antarctica, and without breaking that straight linear path, continuing through the continent and back up the other side into the Indian Ocean. Like, this would literally end the debate. It would be the single biggest piece of evidence for the global model. They've done it already. It was called One More Orbit. Right. 
except they actually didn't look at their flight path. So they left off the tip off South Africa. They went to the 90 degree South Pole mark. And then they literally hit a sharp 60 degree turn towards South America. They never crossed over. They they didn't even alternate sides of, of the hemisphere. They evaded a linear path. My God. What the hell? No, no, it, it can't be. Yeah, man, I know. Globers will still refer to the one more orbit expedition as if it disproves anything. Meanwhile, they never really look into the intricacies of anything. This is exactly why they just believe whatever they're told. Yeah. Just do what they tell you. <laughs> F you. I, just, <laughs> I won't do what you tell me. Answer me one question. What? If it's flat, why don't they just tell us it's flat? Why would they lie? Yeah. Why would they lie and say, what's the benefits of lying about it being round? What if there's stuff know. beyond the ice wall they don't want you to know about? It benefits them. What? There's if it's flat lane. beyond the ice wall, is just space, right? Why would it be space? The Why theory it is be more, there's land? more land. There's more land beyond the ice wall. I mean, there's if we... World. We're Middle Earth. But we've been to space. So when Have you're we? looking, well, the, the, I mean, is that what you're trying to Have just think as well? Because if yeah. we're into space or out of our atmosphere, at least, and you look down back at the earth, it's round. Yeah. From what video? From but, what? No. But from every, NASA TV? What, from, which yeah, has what been, image are you seeing? Yeah. Have you seen the astronaut, the first <laughs> astronaut to do a spacewalk in like 1950? Yeah, no, okay, a, that I don't. I, something's very fishy about that. Honestly. Have you seen that? Yeah, it's bad. It's bad, bad. <laughs> yeah. But let me ask. Let me ask you this: How do satellites work then? What a balloon. No, eventually balloon. they have to come down. They do. Something's fueling <laughs> them. If they do yeah, come but down. not they wouldn't be up as long as they are. Hey. I've I'm seen, just wondering. I'm I'm with you. I've debated this a long time. If there's time. no orbit, then a lot of all of our technology, like satellites and things like that, wouldn't they wouldn't work? Uh, I don't know. And uh, I just can't get past the part of why would they lie to us? It was round. Keep us controlled. Yeah, but like it's not like it's going to scare us if we, Truman if, Show. That's what I was going to say. Truman Show. <laughs> Well, except for the fact that at well, some point airport. somebody had to discover that it was flat and decide right then they had to lie. How long ago was that? Thousands of years ago? They didn't even have Maybe. the means to travel the Earth to figure out what was on the other side of the ice walls at that point, if their theory was true. Around World War II? No, there have the been treaties. globes before World War II. There's what were you going to say, Holly? I was yawning. I don't know. Oh, I thought you were going to say something a minute ago. You Put started to sleep. Oh, no. Oh, wow. I, <laughs> just, I just don't. That's a, like a elaborate lie. And to continue, because it doesn't stop at just, oh, the earth is round. Well, I mean, it goes beyond that because from space, it's round along with all the other planets. Why would Earth be the only flat one? We just don't. There's no no such thing as the moon, the Mars. Yeah. We've all seen those be round. Holly, that may <laughs> be the best argument I've ever heard. Why would the moon be round, but we're flat? Hey, I, I'm with you. I have seen Saturn through a telescope, like an actual yeah, so have I. good telescope, and I've had to track it. It was round, and I could see the rings on it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Just like in a textbook. What do you think, what would make you believe that all the other planets that you've actually seen with your own eyeballs are round, except for Earth? Yeah, Greg. <laughs> <laughs> because I like to think outside of the box. And what, what, <laughs> what if, what if, can you say 100%, you're 100% sure it's round? Like, Hundred percent, you would bet everything you had on it. Mm -hmm. Would you? Would you bet everything? Well, no, because now I'm like questioning my whole life existence. If you're but, asking me, right? if you're asking me, like perfectly round, no, I wouldn't bet it. But if it's some sort of a sphere shape, 
Yeah, I would bet you everything I own. But don't like. I mean, I want it to be round. To be at a level of speed. I honestly don't care if it's round. Or not. Like assuming to even get out of our atmosphere. So planes don't travel that fast. And then there's a gravity pull and all of that. So maybe it just goes along with the curvature because there's not enough momentum to get out of get out of the atmosphere. Well, and also straight line. most of the flight you're on is on autopilot anyways. Those <laughs> right. guys aren't doing anything except taking off and landing and making sure when the gauges go nuts that they know what to do. I, I don't know. Well, do you believe the earth is round or flat? Undecided. No. I ain't going to say it's no. Pick one, Greg. Greg. Meg, Meg has Star. it because I have to be the guy that questions. You yeah. do. And I, I have to have an opinion. For that. I'm not going to. Uh, yeah, you got to always be looking. I just think, like I always say, like, there's more to our reality than we think. And I, I just have this feeling one day we're all going to be like, so freaking surprised at what the actual truth is. I don't We're think some people will be able to handle it. You're never. Yeah, gonna why know. would we You're ever find never out? Never gonna know. Uh, I don't know. We'll know. One way or another. No. Whether you're still here on this earth or you're passed on, you're gonna know. I don't even know. I mean, things like that. Will this even existence matter. is just. I mean, if I'm dead, another and like in another, you know, wherever anybody thinks I'm gonna go. Please be. <laughs> um, I don't think I'm going to care. I don't think that I'm going to remember. Oh, the earth is flat. I got to look now. I got to know now. I don't think I'm going to be up there. I, I don't think it really truly matters on a deep level, spiritual if level. I now, if I die what? and find out, Greg, I'll come haunt you to let I'll you tell know. You about it. Okay, I'll put some moon water out for you, Holly. <laughs> <laughs> So, Greg, I will t I will tell you this. I think questions like this, and when, oh, and I don't say in all conspiracy theories, because I think that's a weird term, anyways. We've had that conversation before. We'll get into it. Mm -hmm. I think that in itself is the distraction. I don't know that the Earth being round and it's a lie because it's flat. That's the distraction. I just think questioning things is the distraction. It's another way to divide people, right? Yeah. I mean, we yeah. do it with politics. We do it with gender. We do it with race. We do it with whatever on this planet. That's just another way to divide another segment of the population. That That's just my opinion. Sure. But I Here's love the questions. I love the thinking process behind it. Yeah. It's, you got to question rea our reality because uh, history is always told by the victors, they always say, right? Yeah. Whoever, whoever wins gets to rewrite history and cater to however they want. So I want to put everybody on a on a mission. We so when we, we were don't in school, do they, homework, Greg. Yes, we're gonna do homework. We've had this we'll, we'll conversation. See, we'll see what no you remember homework. from school. Oh. Okay, when, I'm ready. When did they? Th thanks, Caleb. Caleb, ready? Nineteen eighty eight. Oh. No. What's your question? Jack Nicholson. No. <laughs> or Meg Ryan. All right. Um, <laughs> Crap, now I got distracted. We have well, so real. confused right now. <laughs> so confused. What did they teach you in school? Like, when did when did they learn that the Earth was round? What years? What century? I don't it, know. Was it was a long time ago. <laughs> Who sailed it? When they learned it was not flat? Well, I, I remember mean, learning this in school. Columbus? Columbus? Let's Dude, yeah. I've been in, I think school, I've been in school. elementary school in almost 40 1492. years. So. Sailed the ocean blue. So if they blue realize that the, the world. Magellan, Magellan. Ferdinand Magellan. 600. So he's a liar. 600 <laughs> BC? Seriously, it says many ancient Greek philosophers, philosophers, scientists, and mathematicians observed the Earth's roundness as early as 600 BC. I knew it was a long time ago. So here's the, here's the research. <laughs> a long time ago. <laughs> there's encyclopedias. There's encyclopedias from the 1800s that say the Earth is flat, and that's what they learned in school. So, what? I don't Just know. putting that out there. Just putting that out there. I have an encyclopedia before World War One. I can look through. 
Why is it after a lot of your cryptic corner segments, they just want to stab you in the eye with a pen? <laughs> That's good. It's the reaction we're going for. That's called the engagement. That's engagement. Come over right to your house. Well, <laughs> the dragon wanted to cut me to see what color I bleed. Oh. Yeah. Science experience. <laughs> Yes. Yeah, Maria. Fake news. I'm with Maria. Yeah. Fake news, girl. Yeah. Maria's not on your side. All right. Well, <laughs> yeah. yeah, I have to be that guy. <laughs> I came to realize that a lot of these conspiracies, it doesn't matter what it is. It's kind of the thing like I I mean, I always grew up knowing the earth is round and hearing it. I mean, mm -hmm. I never questioned it. However, I can say. I need to see it for myself, just like aliens. I need to see it for myself. I am yeah. one of those like seeing is believing. And so, yeah, to be 100% like certain that it's round, I would need to go to space. So, Sometimes you just got to have I'm, faith. Let's book, no, book a trip. There's certain I'm, things I just don't leave up to faith. I I'm with you, Holly. I, I think that a lot. I want to see it too. Mm -hmm. And you think, I don't know. We're scared. supposed to be on Mars already. Remember that when Elon was going to go to Mars by 2022? Oh, that's right. COVID happened. Hey, though. I got over that a long time ago when we were supposed to have flying cars like a decade right, ago. And that too, didn't happen. Yeah. Well, they yeah, have like, the future too. They figured out a way to operate them. I did read. I, I don't know how true it is. It was an article. It's probably because we're too dumb to drive them without causing mass casualties. We can't, can't even drive on the roads we have now. Right. <laughs> I don't know how we're going to teach a bunch of people to fly cars. They're going to have to be autopilot. I'm Kayla. Please like and subscribe. <laughs>